There's my turkey boob. There's all my stuff I'm getting ready to work on. I'm heating up my cooker. And uh, but right now I'm gonna break this bad boy out. Well, the boob is going to the cooker. I have it on the highest setting just for the first 20, 30 minutes and then I'm gonna turn it down to 325 for like two hours. So this thing needs to be scrubbed. But um, I just put butter and some poultry season on him. So bye turkey boob. Now I'm softening up some celery and onion to go into my dressing, stuffing, however you say it. I, I use both interchangeably. Um, it's just butter in there with them. And over here, turkey's percolating. Here's our cornbread I'm going to crumble up into here. But I have some, I have a pack of these, herb, and then the pack of these, sage. And I'm going to crumble up my cornbread in here and then I'll dump my uh, onions and celery in here and mix it all up and then start adding stock. And I might put a dash of sage in here. This is what dad did for me this morning. He baked cornbread. He followed the directions on the cornmeal uh, container. I come out and he goes, it said a cup of skim milk, but we didn't have any, so I just used regular. I hope it's okay. I'm like, dad, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna crumble all this up in here. Ooh, look at it. I got everything in here except the chicken broth. I'm gonna start putting that in here. I put a little sage and I put a little pepper. And uh, now I'm just gonna moisten it up with some chicken broth and see how much of it'll fit in this baking dish I have. And I might have to do another small one. We'll see though. It fit, look at it. My big cake pan stuffing. I gotta wash that now. Wash your dishes as you go, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna set that aside because I'm not stuff, putting stuff in the oven quite yet, but I'm getting stuff made, I'm prepping. I got, my next thing is gonna be my broccoli, cheese, mushroom casserole, which is on my playlist. Um, I have done that um, on here. And I had just enough mayonnaise for it. That's all the mayonnaise we have left in the house. Dad's like, do you need to buy some? I'm like, let me see what I got in the container. That was it. <laughs> Oh, I haven't had this since my mom was alive. This is how she made hers. Can't wait to try it. Okay, my broccoli, cheese, mushroom casserole is ready for the oven. I'm going to sit it right over here by the stuffing. Uh, like I said, that recipe is in my playlist. Now I think I'm going to move on to sweet potatoes. Okay, I lied. I'm going to cut up another job Dad did this morning as he peeled the potatoes. But I'm going to cube them up. Put them in this pan with some water and just set them on the stove so I get the cutting board and stuff off the table. Because this is the last thing I have to cut up. Everything else is just mixing and stuff like that. So let's cut up these bad boys. Okay, on to the sweet potatoes now that I got the regular potatoes cut up. Um, you, this is a 40 ounce can of Bruce's yams. I reserve two thirds a cup of their liquid from the can and just pour the rest of it out. And I put the sweet potatoes in a baking dish. And then in here are a half a cup or four tablespoons of butter, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, and two thirds of a cup of the liquid from the yams. And I'm gonna cook this on the stove to make a syrup to pour over the top of my sweet potatoes before they go into the oven. Green bean casserole is put together. This is just a cup of cans of green beans drained. Half, three-fourths cup of milk, I can't remember. Uh, Two-thirds cup of these um, French fried onions, can of cream of mushroom soup. Bake a little while, and then I'll put some more of the crunchies on top. Still waiting for the topping for this to get th th thickened down the stove. Get ready to put that in the oven. Woo-hoo! Okay. Totally forgot to fill my corn casserole, so sorry about that. Everybody's gone in at the time they're supposed to. Luckily, everything cooks at the same temperature, but I've been like, these went in first, and now I just put my last one in, which is my green bean casserole. So now, this stays sealed for quite a while until the first thing comes out. Let's go look in this and see how he looks. Turkey. Dad likes the beef crazy for his potatoes, so I got one of those. And we always eat 
the jellied cranberry sauce ever since I was a kid. So I got one of those out. I'm gonna get ready to turn on my potatoes in the stove. Stuff is starting to come out of the oven. I got my corn casserole out. I got my broccoli out. I'm gonna put the lid on that. And then I'm getting ready to pull out the um, sweet potatoes. Two more out. Green bean casserole. Sweet potatoes. Putting lids on those just keep warm. Yes. The stuffing came out. I'm trying to get where we can get it all on the table. I got the broccoli down there, green beans, sweet potatoes, corn, mashed potatoes. I gotta, I gotta heat up the gravy. Ooh, I gotta do that. Here we go. Turkey. All the stuff. These are mine. Take them over to my spot. Okay, now we're gonna eat. Here's my plate I made with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And uh, Dad's over there getting his all ready. All I see is his milk, though. Taste the stuffing and tell me what you think. Very good. Very good. I got to put some cranberry sauce on mine. Making up some plates. I'm getting ready to wrap in foil. Dad's going to deliver. This is going to our neighbor, Lois. And these are going to my friend, Nikki, and her daughter and husband. And I got them to have some stuffing, some of that dessert stuff. And we're going to carve some turkey for them. So, Dad's going to deliver. I'm going to have a little bowl of my dessert. I sent a bowl of this to my friend Nikki's. And uh, she just told me her husband called dibs on all of it. Because <laughs> he liked it so much. I sent like a cottage cheese container full of it. You know what? I got... I'm going to eat with this big spoon because I didn't get me any. Let's taste it. Mm. It is very good. I'm going to eat with this giant spoon. I don't even care. But there it is. Right there. Mm. Dad is in there arguing with Heidi. She's got... It was snowing really hard a bit ago. Apparently, my cousin said... When me and Dad went down, you know, when we saw the bald eagles, my cousin, Bart, who lives out by the river, said there were 11 of them out there. Three white-headed ones and the rest juveniles all hanging out by the river fishing but now that it's all thawed again they might disperse along the river dad's like we might start getting a lot of nest nesting eagles around here it's cool <laughs> Heidi is just she's been out she has treats she complains a lot more now that she's getting older she'll just bark at him <laughs> He's on the phone, and she does a lot when he's on the phone. But I guess I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> Those two, I swear. And get this online. I hope you're having a good weekend. What are you doing?